Hey there, this is Newcastle Music Studios, and in this video I'm going to do a real quick review of the Star Space Reclining Office Studio whatever chair. <clears throat> so basically this is a semi-expensive chair, comes in around about 200 bucks. There are other versions of it without the footrest for like 150 but you're, it's still definitely up there. It claims that you know it can hold a 350 pound person. I don't weigh 350, I weigh 175, so it holds me just fine. It comes with these two pillows, as you can see here. It's not that hard to assemble. It will take you about 15 to 20 minutes. This is the black and red version. I think it's about 200 to $209 on Amazon.com. Now, as far as what it's made out of, I don't think this is real leather. It might be. It might be like that PU vinyl leather is what I'm thinking. It is rather supple. Um, the cushioning on the bottom of the chair, definitely there. It's firm, and it has the racing design, kind of like the racing seats. So that's a, a huge win for a lot of people that love that style. Now, as far as the levers on the bottom, there are two levers. One lever just basically lets you go up and down, and the other lever um, releases and then locks the adjustment of the chair based on the angle so if you want to go like halfways back you know you can lock it into place you know all the way back you can lock it into place there's no like spring loaded action on the front i'm not sure if that's what you call it but usually where there's some sort of um a spring or something that extra spring gives you an extra bend backwards now that extra bend backwards instead of the spring it relies on the lever that allows it to go and recline all the way back. So that makes sense. For the most part, it makes sense. And I think if there was a spring, you probably would tip. If you went all the way reclined back, you'd probably fall out of the chair like nine out of 10 times. If you go back very slowly and you don't make any quick or sudden movements, you're not gonna fall out. But the reason you're mainly gonna fall out of this chair is the, the weight distribution, just like any chair, and then the width of the feet are never going to be great enough to completely keep you in a chair. Now, I'm going to show you some clips up here of me sitting in this thing, and then I'm going to show you basically what it looks like when you fall out, you know. But essentially, I've seen these chairs at Walmart, similar type design chairs, minus maybe uh, reclining all the way back, but close for about 130 bucks so you're definitely paying a premium and a little bit extra for their you know armchair engineering whatever you want to call this out of 10 stars i would probably give it about an 8.5 mainly because you can fall out of it fairly easily if if uh you're not paying attention to what's going on anyway have a great day this is newcastle music studios i do music and all that kind of stuff subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video let me know what your experience uh, has been with this chair and let other people know what you think and whether or not they should buy this um yeah all comments are welcome have a great day bye